Hello my friends and welcome to another Tuesday of Tutorial. I am Leonardo Perez Nieto and today we will draw a heart. Let's begin sketching the silhouette with a red marker. As you see, I am freehanding this totally with no prior sketch. You may do it like this or also you can sketch it priorly with pencil so that you can erase if you want to. And we fill it in flat. And then with a dark purple pencil, I go over the edges to create a shade or a dark reflection where the glass turns. This is going to be a glass heart. In some areas, I'm leaving the red. I'm not filling in totally continuous and even. That's because we want to create different types of reflections, of course. You may want to do some shading like this, more or less following the shape that you want, uh, like it's a bit rounded on top. And uh, we have made darker reflections. Let's make a lighter one over here with a light orange. And with a white pencil, an even brighter reflection over here, also following the shape. Very good. And some little ones on the side. With a dark blue, we can reinforce some of the darks. By the way, I'm making this with a lot of love for my wife. I think I will use it as a card and write something on the paper. Wish me luck for the inspiration for that. <laughs> I'm good at drawing, but not so much at writing. And we do the shadow with a red and orange. We can add some gray and white. I use some dark red to do some slight shading to the heart. And I will make the shadow a bit bigger, wider. I think that would look better. Sometimes it is tricky when you are drawing with color pencils to do the shadow, especially the edge, so that it comes slightly blurred as it should be. What I did in this case to solve that was to draw with white on the edge of the shadow. That softened it a little bit and I think it looks alright. With the purple, I widen a little bit uh, the reflection on this side. The list of materials is in the information below the video, in the description of the video. I want to thank all the people, the volunteers, who are translating these videos to their languages. Especially Jean-Luc Coulon, who translates all my videos into French. That helps a lot of people who want to learn to draw and that not necessarily speak English. If you would like to translate, please see the instructions also in the description of the video. Very good! Excelente! And it's ready! I want to wish you a happy Valentine's! And if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like, share it to your friends and subscribe to find our tips. And I will see you on Tuesday.